you know, there's one thing. If if you guys do anything, there's one thing that you do. And that's you inspire me to stick up for myself, to keep going, to talk. (laughs) Because every day I'm just blown away by the stuff your uncreative copycat minds come up with. I have water because I am feeling nauseous AF. The never ending story. Nauseous AF. That's my name today. Did you eat, Alyssa? Well, my mom didn't eat at all yesterday, so. I at least managed to get down some food. I ate an empanada today from Spain. An empanada from Spain. Why, may you ask? I don't know. My dad went and got Spanish food. Out of nowhere, I asked him for Chinese, but he decided it was Spanish. And the other day, he decided with Mexican. White people taco night. I mean, it wasn't really Mexican. It was white people taco night, but still. At least it's edible. I enjoy a white people taco. I enjoy an empanada. All right. I have a... Spanish husband that enjoys making empanadas, okay? Go ahead and take credit for it. Mallorca, Mallorca, Spain, Barça, Barcelona. All day, all night. These shoes rule. These shoes suck. I can't even sing it because I'm literally going to die of laughter if I if I start singing that song. Alrighty. The downloads of the day. Oh. Nobody in my attic. Let's go check. Let's go check if there's somebody in my attic right now. just went to check and there's no one in my attic and I heard a big bang right from there. Something fell. Nobody's up there. We have Korean men on posters in Alyssa's attic. It was my brother's, uh, it was my room. Uh, That's how it started. It was an attic first and then they refurbished it into my room. And then when I moved out, they made it um, like the boys game room, like the boys living room, basically like, you know, couch and like all of their games and game consoles and stuff like that. Uh, like boy, the boys hangout room. And I don't really know where the Korean, it's like Korean pop stars. I don't really know where those posters came from, but there's, if you're looking through your mind's eye right now, there's some um, like Korean pop star posters hanging up there. I, I have no idea. And I never asked my siblings where they came from, whether they're Claire's or the boys or what. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, now it's like um, storage, basically. So I think the couch is still up there. <clears throat> but it's like covered with like boxes and stuff.
Um, anyway, yeah, so the ghost, I, I, that never really happened before where like there's like people making noise in the attic. Um, I've never heard that my entire life. That's new. This year, people running around an attic making noise, banging like they just did. <laughs> so that's a new that's a new thing for this house. Um, okay. Hope I didn't take too long. I found uh I found um some of the people I'm talking about that they just like literally never say anything. They're just like, we shifted, bro. We shifted. <laughs> Like every day they're like, humanity made the shift. We are now in 5D. Like how many videos, how many videos are random people going to, like it's so easy to like call yourself like a shaman or like a mystic or like a spiritual teacher or like a healer um, these days. And like, it is so easy to post a video that says, Congratulations, humanity made it. We are now living in 5D. <laughs> and like you look around and you're like, what? <laughs> Congratulations. This is 5D and I still have to go to my job? I don't get it. I thought 5D was different. Peace, love, unity, and respect. Plur. Isn't it plur? <laughs> like, how many times are they going to post that in a random video? How many years are they going to, are we going to invent new spiritual people? I mean, they're like, our guides were like, you can be a YouTuber. And they're like, no way. I could never be a YouTuber, bro. Like, never. <laughs> Dude, that's like, that's like, I'm like here. And like YouTubers, they're like here. Like, I just... I don't understand humanity right now. See, I grew up in New Jersey um, in the 80s and 90s, and New Jersey schools were number one in the country, so, like, cannot relate. <laughs> Literally cannot relate. Don't know what school system you grew up in, but um, Chicago is not the East Coast, okay? Okay, did we take geography? Did we? I'm not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Yeah, um, gonna have to say that your public school system needs a little work, okay? And it's like all these like really like horrible school systems, then they like graduate. And they're like, I was terrible at school. <laughs> it was so bad at school. I got like terrible grades and like barely pa I actually I think I I failed one year and I had to repeat one year and now look at me I'm a famous youtuber because it's like all oh, like the conglomerate of energy is in the lower school system in the non-educated oh my god um I kind of just felt guilty for making fun of people that are not educated because I have empathy for like but I do not have empathy for people like that okay so um like, it's not their fault. They grew up in, like, you know, wh wherever, Alabama or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, my empathy took over. God damn it. Empathy for our children. God damn it, Alyssa. Um, who are clearly grown up now and effing shit up for all of us. <laughs> what is there to have empathy for? Okay. Um, I had reverse sweet codes yesterday where I gave a person, oh my God, I'm so sick to my stomach, guys. Whew. Let's just let the, the, let the nausea wash over you. Just let it wash over. Oh. 
Oh my God. It has been a rough five days. Reverse sweet codes yesterday. I held a person sweetly by telling them what they wanted to hear telepathically only. And I reversed um, the taste of food that I find disgusting. And like I couldn't taste it for a second. And then I was like, wait a second. Is this a food I hate? And then I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, it is a food I hate. And I threw it out. But it like smells and tastes are not real. Um, I will not be describing that further. Um, okay. It was just a reverse code. It's not a law or something like that. It was just to show, show me how obvious it is when people hold me sweetly, how easy it is to grasp the fact that they need to hold me sweetly to pass their tests. Um, Bradley Cooper was asking why is she folding us every day in one of his interviews and like freaking out about it. And it was sometime... I, you know what? I don't even know if it was last year or this year when I was watching Bradley Cooper interviews. Because, like, okay, I never watched. Before the end of last year, I never even liked celebrities. Okay? I liked certain celebrities that have been my husband since 2017 on. Like Jason Momoa um, and Hayden. And I, like, I stick to my family and I know why they're celebrities and they're basically just like me. That's how, you know, we get along. Um, so, oh my God. Wow. I feel really sick. So, uh, Maybe there's a space portal up there, guys. I don't know. I always see this. I, we have a, I live in a Victorian house, and the stairs go up like this, and there's a landing, and then there's more stairs. And then the attic's the same way. It has the same exact stairs where they go up like this. And then there's a landing, and then there's more stairs. And um, so it's possible. There's, there's a space portal on this landing here in the second story, so it's definitely possible that there's a, there's a portal um, in the landing on the third floor as well. I haven't seen anything. I I've seen with, with my space eyes, the second story landing portal open and close. And I've seen both my brother and my father and my mother, um, get abducted from there. My brother, Mike, that's his, uh, <laughs> He called himself a lobbyist yesterday, and I nearly passed out from laughter. Okay. Oh, yeah, about celebrities and interviews. So anyway, I, I don't like celebrities. I never did. And um, I just like my husband's, like I said. Um and this year I felt forced to pay attention to them. And I watched like all of their interviews and stuff. Um, and I watched one of Bradley Cooper's interviews and that's what he was saying in the interview. Why is she folding us every day? Why is she folding us every day? And he was having dreams about um, me folding everyone every day, which then trickled down to, and the, yeah, I said there were dreams, and which sound trickled down to 3D, solid physical, what we call solid physical realm here. And that's why I, that's not why I post every day, but that, that trickled down and solidified into these YouTube videos where I fold you every day. And you guys in just, in, you get, just cannot stop inspiring me to post videos. You just are so inspiring. 
so gosh darn inspiring. So, yeah. Um... We got a lot of downloads. Um, there's like a lot that I'm not going to say out loud. My feet went numb yesterday. My family freaked out. And then the guy said my teeth are allowed to be numb, but not my feet. Can you guys please remember it's a video game? Before you freak out, <clears throat> as the space drugs, space codes, light codes start to pump up um, and all of their side, side effects. Um, grape is unnatural for the future and the past, and it gets us trapped in the 3D. Ergo, what people say, the 3D trap, that's exactly what they're talking about. The grass turned electric green for a second. There's no color in this world. It's supposed to look like rainbow bright, and I don't care if you like neutrals. Um, I saw, like, I looked out the window and the grass was, like, bright neon green yesterday. I was like, that was so cool. Um... So, um, can you guys stop, please? I'm trying to focus right now about the green, the electric green grass in 3D Matrix. I'm trying to make this shit real, okay? And you guys are talking about Andromeda? Like, <clears throat> um, this is a reenactment from what she went through uh, in childhood. And how Andromeda was formed. And that's why these things are occurring. There's also uh, updates that need to be done every day in Andromeda. With these new frequencies that are billowing onto planet Earth. And also the update of information. The influx of downloads that we are getting. We are updating our suits. Um on a daily basis in Andromeda, but it also overlays uh, and time jumps, not time loops, time, jump, time jumps back because we are including space, which would be Andromeda, back to their childhood. Um, and we're learning about how castle states work. <clears throat> I'm telling you who I saw, okay? Um... They, maybe they have portals at their own house. Okay, guys? Um, da, 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 da. Alyssa, it's the destroyer. Adam Driver coming over. Uh, he's sort of like my protector when space codes turn on. He doesn't always come, but he did come earlier this summer, and he came last year during my winter downloads. No, there's no jealousy between him and Hayden. <clears throat> we didn't have jealousy last year at all. Um... Just a lot of stupid people on the East Coast. I think their fiancés are real. And we are bending them. He's coming over because of certain Draco comments. He's here now. I'm feeling extremely nauseous, right? So that means something's off. Something's wrong. <clears throat> He was, he came here, he came here yesterday. Um, people have higher selves. It's not that hard to understand.
Claire asked my dad why I can't hear the whole download. Dad said, because I love my baby. We are reteaching Claire that she is not used to being abused or harmed or hurt or taken advantage of or um, you know, anything like that, that planet Earth as a whole thinks that they're kind of used to and they they told me that too okay they just told they told me that for the last seven years you're just used to being abused and that's one of the things I had to fight back personally um and I did fight back and I'm fighting back right now actually this is actually called fighting back I'm not used to being abused I am used to being held sweetly and I am used to um being taken care of and they're already trying to to fight back and saying I'm used to being taken advantage of and I'm not I'm not used to that and I had to fight back and I fought back my entire life so just because you hear it from a spirit guide doesn't mean it's accurate that's when I did say that that's another reason why they go up into spirit and there's, that's why, anyway, I, you know, I feel like I said these things like a million times and I'm like repeating it. I haven't worried about my energy in years because I got used to always being right and taken care of by Brandon. Again, this year is new for me. Again, like before 2017, being on the East Coast full of people who are worried and scared of my energy, it's obviously affecting me. And I felt it coming at the end of last year when I was in Kenosha, um, when a demon tried to walk through my TV and I got scared and I haven't been scared of demons in a very long time. Uh, yesterday in a meditation, I saw the energy scanning the earth for large conglomerates of energy called superheroes because we are going to pull our energy back from people who think they're superheroes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Uh, more in meditation, I kept hearing, I think, the Andromeda and the aliens being like, avoid avoid arguing with her, avoid arguing with her, avoid, avoid arguing with her. I was like coughing all over the place because you, that's, it affects my energy because you guys were arguing with me and I didn't hear that, but I heard the Andromeda and aliens speaking up for me. Um, certain people have entered the state of feeling like it's a lucid dream in 3d. So it feels not real. It feels like you're in a dream instead of in 3d reality and are not feeling well. And that's speak from disagreeing with me, from arguing with me and not doing my will. I saw Orion growing and becoming a giant compared to Kuba and Bucky Um, Bucky said, why am I seeing a succubus? Oh, the succubus is definitely next. Um, and then the person he was with made fun of him and was like, yeah, that's definitely next. And getting your wife some wine is definitely not next. Like, it's like you guys listen in and then you think you're important. And then you think that you can figure out the game instead of listening to me and like what I'm actually saying to do, which is to take care of me, hold me sweetly, worship me, listen to what I'm saying, not try to figure out my video game like you're an equal to me. Like, oh, why am I seeing a succubus? Oh, the succubus must be next because Alyssa sees Atlantis and then she says, oh, Atlantis must be next. What, you know, like that. Because you're important, right? Because you're important, we got it. The ace sphere is where the when the room fills with light and you um, 
are with weird people or people you know or have weird experiences with reptilian beings or other entities you may have never met before. It's like trick-or-treating. Uh, you go there when you reject God, which is me. Hi, my name's Alyssa. It is different than Solara because on Solara are the people you breathe easy with there where everything is light and free. Solara is where you go when you accept God. Again, that's me, Alyssa, hello, and worship her as the divine sister and she turns you into the divine with her. She went there. She first went there with her favorite brother, Alex Mazone, who protected her since childhood. After all, why would she worry about that when Brandon was lying right next beside her? He reversed the crown codes for a second to see how obvious it is to get it right away, to get to get it right how easy it is to hold me sweetly in the physical and how the game lets you know right away when you're out of line. On top of your angel saying it out loud, you are out of line with the princess. And I said, oh my God, this is so frustrating. Please help me not. Because like, what the fuck? What the fuck? The A sphere is showing up outside my window at night. Um, so for two nights, the A sphere has shown up. And before that was the spaceships and stuff, which are on my Facebook and my Instagram. If you want to see spaceships, UFOs in the sky, if you actually want to see evidence of 5D, instead of just hearing another human mortal on the YouTube channel say, congratulations, humanity, you made it. You made it. You made it to 5D. Congratulations. Okay, so... If you want to see evidence of 5D, you can look at my Instagram or my Facebook and see actual evidence. You can see the the eighth sphere, which is in 3D universe as well. And you can see the spaceships. Okay. I think I did say we were dropping again. So we guess we dropped to 3D. That's probably why I feel so sick. Um, but yeah, the, the last two nights, I, it's been the eighth sphere and I think no spaceships for the last two nights. And I also have pictures of that kind of looks like a light ring, a light green rim ring, of like Aurora Borealis sort of changes colors. Like sometimes it's silver, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's white. Okay, I so saw my one of my cousins signed to me. Um, I think we ruined your video game. Uh, that's her embodying it, and it immediately tethered her and her whole team, her whole spirit team, to the earth, arms and all. I think they have to agree to be recycled or something once they are there. Um, talking about last night and the A sphere, that's the A sphere becoming more solid than last time. Uh, I felt um, my cousin go through my Palladian heart and then I felt her go down to my stomach. So it is reflected in me, the one molecule. I hope my phone doesn't die. This world has been fake to me for a while, except my siblings. Oh, and my court, I guess I'll say. We're going to start bringing ancient Egypt into the physical, on the physical, um, I guess, 3 and 5D level. Oof, I'm feeling so sick, guys. I think it looks more. Let me go, let me go get my charger.
No Espanol today? Oops. No Espanol today? Um, no, no, mayonesa. That is something from one of my friend group back in the day. No, mayonesa. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. What's Missy? Where did I leave off? We're going to start bringing ancient Egypt into the physical. Okay. So we're having a lot of women. Um, complain about you, Alyssa. <laughs> A sphere right away. Uh, pretty much. Okay, so what does light pink mean? We're having a lot of women with like light pink eyes. So like on a broadcast, you'll just see their light pink eyes. And it took me like a second to remember this download because I'm literally having an entire book downloaded to me literally every single day. I mean, so sorry, guys. I know you expect more from me because I'm literally God. Okay. So the light pink eyes mean, okay, so when they were in the Zeta Reticuli program, they had um, my unconditional love all around them, and it was light pink. And that was because the energy was too big for their tiny little bodies, and they kept degrading. So that was the only way I could keep them alive. Um, and that's a true story. And then we got rid of the program. Then they were just that unconditional love for a while without a body. And... Then they got their Andromedan bodies and it went into um, their Andromedan body, meaning like they didn't have like a higher self vehicle. So when they would meditate and stuff, they would go into um, the ether. And that, that affected me as well. I went to the ether too. I'm, I'm pretty used to going into the ether, being God and all. But anyway, um, so... Then they got their Andromedan bodies um, filled with the unconditional love pink goo. And um, because it's a goo, because it's a goo, it can be in a smaller format or a larger format. Whereas the space program couldn't, the Zetas, they couldn't, they, they were degrading. Okay. Because anyway. So this, the unconditional love codes um, basically like holds them in their Andromedan form and it kind of like, um, it kind of like arrests them like, like that when they fight against me and it's like a lower level unconditional love or it's like a cosmic, cosmic unconditional love. It's less intense than, um, than um, peach, than than peach unconditional love, and so it you can stay awake longer with that with that love, and you won't like pass out right away um, when the intense unconditional love hits you. So it's beneficial in that way for your human life, and they it it keeps them from being super argumentative with me. <clears throat> so that's the, and the, their you'll see their eyes become bright pink when they start to get angry, um, and that's exactly why. Uh, and that'll happen because of their jealousy towards me.
<laughs> there I'm um I'm eating a ton of people that like think they're smarter than me and say stupid things like they were holding up the UFO with their mind and they're still confused, but they they argue back and they act like they're important and all sorts of weird things in the physical, but then they say stuff like that. Like that's a lot of the girls still want to be Sims. There's a place for that. It's called 3D. So, you know, don't, don't watch, don't watch a YouTube that says we made it to 5D if, if you're one of those girls. Okay. Cause we already heard about your school system educating. All right. I think Chicago's on the East coast. Okay. We all heard her. Let's move on with our lives. Okay. We don't got the best educate education system in the world Brandon starting to hold me again from the inside 5D earth is called Alyssa just like Venus you know planet Venus there's this is planet Alyssa 5D is planet Alyssa okay The new small moon. Did you guys see the new small moon on the news? Well, this is a really long video. The new small moon um, is going to be a part of the uni unique recycling system. It already has a ring around it. Um, so that'll be interesting to watch and develop to see who gets sent there and, you know, what what that all is. Maybe the, um, the people that did the fake moon kingdom are being sent there. Um, that's what I'm thinking. You know those people that are like, stay away from Saturnian religions. Just stay away from them because they will trap you. Those Saturnian religions, they will trap you. <laughs> I mean, talk about warning yourself. Like, you already know. You just said it out loud. Stay away from them. Oh, look, she's a Christian. Wow, that's weird. How did that happen? I don't know. Must have been a blind spot. Okay, we're about to see how real talent is. Um, there's a, like, you know, uh, I had that dream about like the girls treating me like trash, like I don't have any talent. And um, that made the game sort of reset itself with talent. Um, and we're just going to see like talent sort of like hop from like one person to another. And be like, you were so talented yesterday. Like what happened? So it's sort of going to be like that, like, you know, you think like as a person, oh, they grew up, there's, they were, is a naturally born, it is a naturally born athlete and, you know, they win all the games or, you know, natural born singer, natural born, um, painter, writer, actor, whatever, um, all these things that you think you have to be talented to do. And like, like one day they're going to be like super talented. And like, Oh my God, they're amazing. And then like the next day, like the talent's gone and like moved on to somebody else. And it's like, it's going to be like that. It's going to, and actually I've already been doing that, but it's been like kind of, it's been slower and this is actually speeding things up. These videos are speeding things up a lot. That's why Bradley Cooper was like, Oh my God, she's folding us every day. She's folding us every day. Um, so yeah, uh, um, yeah, the talent is going to, like, so like Grimes, for example, she was extremely talented, amazing singer. Um, she got all of her talent for me. She got all of her songs for me. I've already said that. And then that whole aesthetic just like changed overnight because she got recycled in the unique recycling system because she knew exactly where she got her talent from. Now she doesn't really have any talent. She's and like, the, her songs are just like airy fairy surfacey like there's just no energy there's no energy in them but it's so it's going to be like that but it's going to be, like be faster and faster mm -hmm. okay so this was the download from this morning when you realized you wasted your life you will stop arguing back 
with me. I mean, it's literally a video game you take seriously. You're literally a pixel in a video game. And you're like, I have to have a perfect credit score. I have to have perfect teeth, perfect relationship, perfect living space, perfect vacation. And your career, you have a career in a magical video game where neon UFOs actually exist. And your entire room could be glowing with the prettiest colors. And you could be hearing the coolest music ever that you have ever heard and not giving a shit about literally what anyone thinks about you because all you are is my energy and you could be like wow Alyssa is so cool for letting me experience her magic and her love and I don't have to wake up at 5 a.m anymore or show off in a competitive work setting I mean, you could have alien friends running down your hallways that are etheric and come and go and that you're not scared of. And your friends could materialize before your face and fade when you want them to leave. And you're like, I need a door and an invitation to my holiday party. I mean, you could be a centaur in a magical forest by now. Being the most beautiful, etheric creature in a bright, heavenly, uh, in bright, heavenly colors, unseen by earthlings. But instead you are like, you stupid bitch, I fucking hate you. I want to have pizza parties and baby's breath and a sense of free will. Even if I live in this awful, high-tax, two-party, dumb, mortal, fake 3D world, at least it will have been my choice to not live under you, you bitch through the airwaves. Or when you realize how nice I actually am and how compassionate I am actually how sweet I actually am to want to give you some of my power, some of my space size, someone that actually loves you because one marriage is every marriage and you're just not going to want to exist anymore when you realize you could have had 44 years and what you chose or what you could have had for 44 years and what you actually chose that you didn't have to post on social media, oh, that you didn't have to actually post on social media for even one day, that you didn't even have to be my midwife for one second, that you didn't have to live alone in a big house for clout and post to people you don't even really like, not for one second. All you had to do was trust your angel that said, honor the princess and her wishes. Because she is you, and when you agree with her, you're literally so happy and filled with bliss, you immediately stop shitting your pants, getting the cheese touch, and being nervous. Your negativity goes away immediately. Your episode stops. The craziness stops. You're happy and peaceful and can basically have anything you want, including the best food you ever tasted in your life. And you're going to feel like shit because you wasted your life doing things you don't prefer that job you complained about your whole life you never had to go to that man that abused you you never had to be with the stress and fear over negative aliens you never had to experience okay so that's the end of that download 
I saw Colin pull me out uh, to home um, and gave me some energy to eat. Uh, after I ate it, I immediately turned into a doll. Uh, he was extremely nervous, sweating profusely, freaked out. I was like, oh my God, it's the wrong pr princess. How did that happen? How did that happen? Oh, I saw this weird, really weird vision of this old woman eating like chocolate covered cream puffs with little spiders running down them. And she was like, <laughs> she was on my side, but it was really like a funny image. And she was running the cream puffs over underwater before she eat them. And then she'd eat them. And she was like atheist. <laughs> and just like going off. It was really funny. Um, and I had intense leg pain during that uh, in the dream. So I was like watching it. And I was sort of like aware I was in bed. So it was sort of in my body, sort of out of body, sort of in the dream. Um, I can feel it right now calling it forward. But there was a, there was a, obviously like a lot of arguing with me. And she was manja manja all those arguments. So thank you, sweet, funny lady, whoever you are that I saw last night. This was a long video for me. This is very long for me. Anyway, that's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Probably because you'll inspire me to make another video.